Japan. So um, I'm uh, Hugo Lopez, I'm a core member of the Lingua Libre project. And uh, today I will talk to you about um, the current um, transformation our community have to, to go through. So um, um, basically, for I will not introduce completely Lingua Libre. Lingua Libre, um, uh, just to make it quick, it's a project to record very fast, rapidly, a lot of words in one language. Um, so you come with a list of words or you load a list of words on the website and you read them uh, one by one in, uh, in, a, in a series. And so you can record about 800 words per hour. And you have the link, um, you have the link to the, the, the service in, uh, the, in the Etherpad and in the um, Wikimania uh, wiki page. So why we do this? We do this uh, in my personal experience. My motivation is because my ancestor languages have been uh, disappeared. I don't speak it. It, it has been um, erased by the French government. And in France and in other countries, we have a lot of um, local uh, cultural and linguistic activists who want to keep their language because it's an important part of their identity. How we, we want to do this? Um, Lingua Libre's mission is to document all language and voices. What we mean by that is, depending on the case, we have different priorities. In the case of France, we were um, aiming at local accents because in the north of France, in the south of France, we have different uh, pronunciation, which are typical to the, the areas, the, the regions. And we wanted to preserve this difference because this difference is disappearing. In other instances, we also have in France disappearing local language. Uh, 100 years ago, we had 25 languages in France. Now we have something like five uh, languages which are still alive, and most of the other languages. Record accents and local language. We also have in mind that this tool can expand to the whole world uh, for all languages which are. Which are in this center. So we have to fight back, we have to document them, and if possible, we have to revitalize them. Lingua Libre, as a tool to record the words, can help to create dictionary, e-learning tools, and to, to revitalize the, those endangered language. So by example, when, if I go to a small community, we, we, are, in, we are in touch with some smaller community, and as a foreigner speaking a ma some major language like English and French, I can either go to this space and ask them to speak this macro language, then I, I'm an active part of destroy, destroying their language, or I could learn their local language if I have suitable resources to learn their local language, at least the basic 1000 word, and then I, I become an active, mem um, an active um, actor for keeping their language alive. So that's the philosophy behind uh, Lingua Libre. In the past four years, the strategy was to first develop for, from France uh, with our local community, which was uh, leading the way. And then um, by demonstrating the use of the tool for French accent and for French local languages, we wanted to create a demonstrator for other languages. And that's what we did. Other language came. But the limitation we, we saw in the past two years is naturally by simple statistics. Um, most of the 
incoming new language, which are quite successful, are the largest language, like Polish, Italian, um, Bengali, Odia. Uh, some language which have something like uh, 50 million speakers. These are, are, they are leading the way. But uh, this is the first thing. The, the macro language, the big language, are taking the place. And we are now for French, which is the, the, the largest of our uh, contribution, we are reaching uh, a plateau and we don't have any more contribution because all the world were recorded. So we have a crisis of contribution within our community with the largest language slowing down and we don't really have the... the we, we are not fully successful are onboarding smaller languages. We have to work on this. And also a second um, critical issue is with the development of, um, uh, with the expansion of our usage, we add the, the, upper, the new, new They also have a lack of internet. Um, they have like a, a lower internet literacy rate. So the people are, which know the language are not able to contribute. We have new technical and, and social challenge that uh, we are not present for the larger language and are present for the smaller language and the more mar marginalized language. So now we also have a crisis, a te technical crisis like with some bugs appearing on a mobile, mobile platform. And we have to revamp our, we have to, to renew our um, tool on these two aspects, the technical side and the methodology to approach those communities. So, um, excuse me. Uh, so right now we are, uh, on the technical side, we have been um, uh, doing hackathon and uh, things to um, uh, to revamp uh, our stack. And also on the methodology, we have documented on the wiki um, ways to make a uh, workshop la um, based on experience with a small village uh, in Amazonia. We find out problem of literacy, even their language are not um, normalized. So the speaker have difficulties to read the word, which are using a new um, writing system. We have these kind of uh, challenges. We have also simp simply challenge to access uh, those community. So we need volunteer to, we can't make, we can't uh, create the contact point with those uh, minority languages, uh, closer to them. We cannot start, uh, lead this from France. We have, uh, we need people across the world, Wikimedia, who um, make the binding between those uh, village and small communities and the tool which are, um, the tools and the documentation which are, are on online on the on lingualibre.org. So that's globally the, the situation we have right now with this um, slowdown of the core French community. Um, the, the appearance of uh, of bugs from mobile mobile device, and the need to develop to implement new methodology which are basically field linguistic, uh, with the need of um, volunteer field linguist uh, contact people which can uh, go to these communities. This is for the global problematic of our. Um, project, the dynamic we have right now, I think we have to make a push uh, exactly in this direction. That means more outreach towards smaller language, towards other Wikimedia chapter, especially in Africa and uh, so Southeast Asia, where there, there is a lot of untaped um, linguistic resource. Um, 
uh, which need to be documented if we want to revitalize, uh, to, to support and to uh, revitalize these uh, languages. Um, this being said, I was not able to share my screen, but um, on the Wikimedia, Wikimania, sorry, page, I added some resources which are interesting to browse. So I will share them with you if I find a way. But basically, it's uh, on uh, wikimania.wikimedia.org and lingua libre pivoting to diversity. We have a map, by example, which uh, display from uh, wiki data and this kind of things, all our users. Um, they are categorized by number of contribution and you can see the BAs we have toward uh, Europe. Uh, and that's the issue we have to, to, to fight. Um, we have to move away from Europe and to those other area, uh, which um, which have the most diverse linguist, linguistic resources. Um, also, I will add to the um, to this page a uh, few application we made e learning application to learn languages. Um, we we do our best to serve the local community by um, helping them with a the methodology, creating a list of words, recording them, and pushing to have a um, multimedia learning service, uh, basically a list of words with translation in the local contact language. Uh, so by example, for Surui, we will have um, Surui, which is a small language with 2,000 speakers, uh, Portuguese, and the audio file. And you can browse this list and uh, learn the word uh, depending on your need. So when you interact with the community, you can use their language and um, you are not part of the, the, the flow which westernized these communities and uh, make this language disappear. Uh, I will share more resources on the on the Wikimedia page, and you are welcome to browse them, uh, to come to lingualibre.org, and to interact with us to maybe add your language or think about possible connection to create. Thank you, everyone. Question.